So welcome back to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy. I'm here as your guide for the next 45 minutes of bar work. Today's session is a lot of shoulder and side body focus. So you're going to be really toning, leaning out, but also gaining a little bit of understanding of how better to work those areas and improve your posture. So what do you need? Well, just a mat on the floor today. You will not need a bar, but if you are new to bar, you could have a chair handy just in case. Do also grab some water, grab a little sweat towel, and remember to check that you can see me really clearly when you're standing, kneeling, and lying down. This is your time, your session, so please take care of you. Listen out for modifications. The advancements will be there too if you're ready. So let's go ahead and come into the center of our space. I'm going to take the feet nice and wide, pointing the toes forward, making sure that those legs are micro bent. Take a moment to lift through the core and grow tall through the crown of the head, setting perhaps a positive intention for the next 45 minutes. We're just going to start with a simple shoulder shrug all the way up to the ears. <sighs> Let it go. Once more, inhale. <sighs> Maybe it's an audible sigh, getting rid of any tension or stress. <sighs> Good, and then from there, reach the arms up, and then just shrug one arm down, taking a side lean. It's a little bit like a puppet on a string, and alternating sides. It should feel really nice with the side body. <sighs> Good, lovely. Do that once more, right and left, and then we're gonna make it a full body sweep. Both hands are gonna touch the floor and knees can bend as much as you need. So it looks like this, we sweep and we roll on up. And we fall forward and sweep, roll on up. Last time, hang forward, keep the feet nice and wide and just walk your hands over to the left side, take a little stretch, aiming nose towards left shin. Keeping the knees as soft as you need, pad the hands across to the right side, catch a hold of the ankle and draw the nose in. Go ahead and go to the left again, just feeling that hamstring stretch. Feeling the lower back extend, good. Coming back to your center, bend the knees a little more hollow at your core and roll your way up to standing. Really stacking vertebrae upon vertebrae. And then let's roll the toes out for a moment, hands to the fleshy part above the knees, sit down into a deep sumo squat. Taking one shoulder forward, and then the other. So you'll feel a gentle inner thigh stretch. You'll also feel those hips opening, preparing ourselves for our thigh sets. Also starting to feel that core twist and torso twist. So really engaging and breathing as you go. Lovely. One more set. And then go ahead and rotate the toes parallel. Gently draw yourself tall. Find that deep lift in the core again. Bring your hands to press, pressing hands together. We're going to press over to the right and come center. Over to the left. So we're in a nice wide stance. Toes point forward. Glutes are starting to activate. Core is lifting off the thighs you bend. Let's do four more. Squeeze high. We're gonna stay low in three. So this is that classic skater move designed to really fire thighs. And we're gonna to start to raise your heart rate as well. Stay low, start to move it. Right, left, double pulse. Good, left, right. Now imagine you're under a glass wall. I want you to push side to side without moving up at all. Yes, good. Shrug your shoulders back. Tight lift through those abs. Two more like so. Then we're gonna add a twist on that double pulse. Last set straight, twist, twist. So we go switch, switch, hold and twist. Switch, switch, hold and twist. Two more. Switch, switch. So always playing with those rhythms here at Silver Linings to keep your brain alive. Single twist. It goes twist, twist. So aiming opposite elbow towards your knee. Maybe taking gaze high, maybe starting to pick up that pace a little. You're going to feel your heart rate rising. Can you focus in on the breath that is going to serve you for our whole time together today and indeed every day? It's eight. Seven, pushing through the side of the foot. Just four more here. Then we meet at the front of the mat. In three, in two. Last one, come center. Go ahead and just shake out those arms. Come to the front of the mat and let's roll down slowly. Feet parallel, hip sockets width apart. Again, that softness is there in the knees. As you plant the hands, move your legs back 
And let's come down onto the forearms. So we're gonna make the number 11 with our forearms. Walking the legs back until your knees are touching and your spine is long. So we're in a modified plank position. Pull elbows towards you. Tuck your pelvis, now hook your toes under. Two counts to extend. It's up, up, little tap. Lengthen, lengthen, little bend. Squeezing inner thighs together. Imagine you had a little piece of paper there. Hang on to it. Push, push, little bend. I am starting to feel shoulders, core. Can you tone the glutes as well? The plank is a great full body energizer. That's why we do it so early in our format. Let's take three more. We've got this press, press, little bend. The bend is micro, kissing lightly those kneecaps to the floor. Now this time we hold, we're gonna discover our serratus dip. So we drop between the shoulder blades, we push on up. We drop between the shoulder blades. Now you could do this modified. I'm gonna show you closely on the camera. It's that little space between the shoulders and then push away. So we're doming the space between the shoulder blades. This is gonna improve your plank, your press ups and indeed your posture. Two more, then we put it together with that knee bend. Are you guys ready? One knee bend, one serratus dip. It goes tap, dip, tap, dip. Now, if that feels too pacey, slow it down. Always good. Listening to your body is the most important thing. Four more. Then we're going for a run. You ready? Two, are you breathing? Yes, you are. We go. Now, keep that doming sensation static, yes? Yeah? So you're gonna keep that sensation, keep those abs lifting, and then keep running those knees. Maybe we could go a little faster now. It's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Maybe pulling those elbows a little more towards your hips will activate your ribs, activate your core. Eight, six, in child, in four, three, two, one, beautiful job. Brief moment in child, take a deep breath in, long breath out, roll on up. Take your hands behind you, and as you do so, kneel up. Now, if you have sensitive knees, pop a towel underneath. Let's send the left leg wide. Push your hips forward and draw your abs in. Fingertips to temples. We're gonna go all the way down and halfway up. It looks like this. We're down, we're up. So we're doing kneeling abs today, trying to find that lateral bend. So if I show you on the diagonal, everything is aligned. Foot, hips, head, and elbows moving in that side plane. Four more. We pulse in three. That's two. Now on one, hold it over there. Tiny little lifts. It's up, it's up. If you want more, catch your left wrist with your right hand. Woo. Side plank, eight more here in eight. Seven side plank is coming. You've got this. Four, three, two. Now you've got options. Hands are floor. Either underneath leg forward, Legs are staggered, or feet come together to come stacked. Take your arm and gaze to the sky. Option for micro bend and stretch on that right arm. Yes, little tricep burn, you've got this. It's eight, seven, lift those hips, lift those abs. It's four, exhale, that's two, that's one, second side. So if you had the towel, plant your left knee on it this time. Right leg goes wide, fingertips to temple. All the way over, halfway to lift. Again, establish that strong lift through your core and ribs. The ribs are not flaring out. They are in your control. You could imagine you had one of our silver linings resistance bands, just gently tied around it to give you that sense of support. Good, we've got those pulses coming. Into, little lift. Last one, stay all the way over. Tiny up, tiny up. Now option here to catch again the top wrist with the underneath hand. So right wrist in left hand. Eight, seven to our side plank, six. Yes, team, five, four. How's that band? Three, two, on one, plant the hand directly underneath your shoulder. If you're taking the staggered option, underneath foot forward. If you're stacked with me, feet are together. If you need to bend the underneath knee, you do. Hold it there, maybe reach the arm. Micro bend and stretch the left arm. That's just an option. If you're just holding stillness, it's all good. You take that option that works for you today, that challenges your body today. Beautiful breath for four, for three, for two, for one, and all the way down. Good, let's take a little shake for those wrists, and then go ahead and take an interlace of the hands behind you. Open your chest and gaze, and then take the hands forward. 
make a little curve. Beautiful, guys. So as you've noticed, we've got no bar today, but if you are new to bar, you could have a chair sort of in front of you. Otherwise, we're gonna step out to our wide second coming now into our thigh work. So toes are to the corners of your space, slice your knees down, find that beautiful upright spine, bring fingertips to temples, little pulse, little pulse. So, couple of technical things. We are one plumb line, crown of head to tailbone. Imagine that heavy tailbone towards the floor. Now, can you wrap those ribs in? and then shrug the shoulders down and away. Remember that serratus and then that little V of muscle. You've got it all working. We're adding a side dip in three, in two, it looks like this. We're left, we're center, we're right. Now I am actually tapping my elbow to my knee. If you're able to work to that range, please do so. Do not skimp, do not sell yourself short today, silver liners, four. Beautiful breath. Three, I would use the exhale to bring you back up. Two more, isometric hold in those thighs, starting to feel them working. Good, we'll take it on the beat. It looks like this, we're left, we're centre. So we're adding in a little pulse as well, micro pulsing right at the deepest point of your work. So that's called an isometric contraction. Beautiful, four more here. Four, three, two, now on one come center. We're gonna lean back over to the right, shoot that left arm high, slice that right arm under, get lower. Little reach, little reach. Now, could you draw your shoulders back in? Could you draw your ribs back in? Are you ready for a combo? You are there. In four, in three, it's two slices, one heel rise. It looks like this, we slice, we slice, heel rise up, heel rise down. So just the right heel isolate that movement. Are your left knees rolling back? Good, because you don't want that rolling forward. Ow, good. It goes slice, slice, lift up, lift down. Two more, slice, slice, lift up, lift down. Tight abs. Now hold it over there, hold that heel high. Little wrap, little wrap. If you're not used to the wrap, it's a tiny wrapping action that activates your glutes as well as your thighs. Oh my goodness. We're getting everything today. Four more. Three, I know that side bend's killer. Two, come back to center hands, just to temples. Little pulse, so tiny intermission. Then we'll head over to that left side. Are you guys ready? In three, two, one. Slice the right arm over, left arm slices under. Here we go, little reach. So good to find that maximum extension, that beautiful range. It's gonna elongate your whole torso, your waistline. Beautiful, little combo in four. Sit deeper in three. I know it burns too, that's why we're here. Aha, uh -huh. two slices, one heel rise. It's back, back, heel rise up and down. Reach, reach, are you breathing? Beautiful, good. How long can you make your torso? How deeply can you plug your shoulder down? Slice, slice, good. Heel rise, heel down. Imagine you had an orange under that heel. Can we make some juice? Squeeze it. Two more, yeah. Up and down, little reach. Now hold that heel high, just micro wrap it back and back. So just the left knee. Now you wanna make sure that right knee isn't rolling forward. Can you pull it back as you wrap that left knee back, getting that glute activated. Eight, seven, six, sitting deeper. Don't creep up now, silver liners. You got three, you got two, you got one. Come back to center, sweep the arms high. We're gonna add a little pull now. We are close to our finale for this position. So give it your all. We're gonna start to raise that heart rate, lean forward a little, and then bring one elbow forward, one and other. Alternating, finding our cardio flow, Yes, you can. 10 seconds on the clock, then we're down on the mat. Beautiful. 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Six, five, deeper, four, three, two, and one. Give it a shake. Now, if your knees are sensitive, you're gonna place a towel down underneath the knees. Coming into our hinge. Your, feet, your knees are one fist distance apart. I'm gonna show you on the angle, but you can just face the front of your mat or your screen. Tuck under and then bring your fingertips to your shoulders, bring your elbows up in line with your shoulders. We lean it back, we squeeze on up. 
So the hinge, as the name would suggest, you are like a piece of steel. There are no wobbly bottoms or snake-like movements here. We are aiming to lean out on a high diagonal and then come back up. Lean on out, beautiful. And as you get to your deepest point, you are going to feel the thighs ignite. Let's take four more. Four, see if you could go a millimeter further every time. Can you also hug an invisible sponge between your thighs? Two more. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the juice out. Last one, hold it. Bring fingertips to shoulders. We roll the shoulders up, we roll them down and around. And yes, it is shaking and burning. Stay with it, team. Keep scooping your abdominals. Oh, I'm giving with one hand with those gorgeous shoulder rolls, and I'm giving you a little thigh burn as well. Just two more circles, up and around. You've got this. Last little push in this position. You're gonna sweep the arms forward and wide. Little tuck reach, little tuck reach, little tuck reach. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, beautiful. Six, keep squeezing, five, yes, team four, three, two, come on up, reset. I'll show you the second side. It's exactly the same, we're just gonna reverse those circles in a moment. So reach on out, squeeze on home. Now, really important that you move back in that piece of steel. Those of you with sensitive lower backs, you wanna really tuck under and get that inner thigh squeeze to protect the lower back. If you feel any discomfort, don't go so far in your range. Keep it in your control today. Two more. Beautiful. Last time we're gonna hold it back there, bring fingertips back to shoulders, circle the elbows down and around. It's down, up and around. Down, up and around. Three more. Oh my goodness, my thighs are on fire. Good. Two more, Ooh, it's hard. Last one, we're gonna bring those arms nice and high this time. Good, little tucks, under and under. You've got this team, it's just 10 more. It's 10, nine, lean further, eight, yes. Seven to the shake zone, six, five, yes, burn it. Four, three, two, one. Brief pause, set those knees a little wider. Again, always pad the knees if you think they are sensitive. Go ahead and just sit down to one inch off your heels. If your knees are sensitive, you're a little higher. Hover there, sweep the arms high to the side, just in line with your shoulders. It looks like this. We reach left hip high, right hip. Take your gaze and your hand away from you as well. Left and right. Four, then we speed it up. Three, oh my goodness, two, it burns so good. Let's take that on the beat. We go left, right, left. Right, ooh, I love a little thigh surprise. Oh my goodness, you've got it team. Little higher, reach, reach. Now we take it to a little shimmy. It goes forward, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. Can you shake those hips and shoulders? Let's make it a little thigh dance party. Woo, you got it. Four, and back. Three to those little pull downs. Just like we did in wide second, you've got this too. Make it sexy, team. I know, last one. Bring the spine as tall and as upright as you can. Pull, reach, pull, reach. This is that finale. This is where we reach that kind of spike with the heart rate. You've got 10, nine. We are raising your metabolic rate. We're hopefully raising a smile as well. You've got this, four more here. Four, then we're in our push-ups. Three, yes you can. Tell yourself you can in three, two, one. Hands wide, knees are down, toes are together, knees are squeezing. We're down, down, little push. Down, down, little push. So hands are wide, elbows going 45 degrees to the back corners of your space. Down, down, little push. Six more. Then we're trying single count full form. Yes, you can. Today is the day, I feel it. Two more. Last one, hook your toes, push on up, single count, up and down, we can. In, exhale, beautiful. Maintaining that squeeze on the glutes, maintaining those inner thighs, hugging, ribs are wrapping, I am here with you, shaking and baking. Six, we hold in five. Remember those serrated steps, push up between the shoulder blades. It's two more. Last one, hold low. We go, little pulse, little pulse, but out in eight. Seven, then we stretch. Six, yes you can. Five, four, three, two, and press back. Take the palms wider than your mat and flip them up. 
let your head rest, take a moment. Oh, so notice that heart rate is high. There's that fabulous energetic feeling through the body. Let's give it a stretch. So left foot's gonna step forward, making sure knee is over the ankle and pushing into that deep runner's lunge. You could stay right here or go ahead and hook your toes and push up into your full lunge. Pressing the hips forward, opening the chest, maybe take an interlace of the hands behind you, shining your sternum up, energizing the back leg a little more, and then lower the knee. Let's bring those hands to the thighs as you pull your left toes back, flat back, head forward. Options are here, fingertips to the floor, and if any of you wish to take it all the way out to your splits, today might be the day. Beautiful breath. Make sure you're breathing, bringing oxygen to those tight thighs and getting our hips and hamstrings ready for our seat work. So other side when you're ready, the right foot forward, make sure that knee is over your ankle. Press the hands to the fleshy part above the knee, tuck your pelvis, press your hips forward. Maybe you're staying right here, just shoulder roll back or maybe hook the toes and press the back leg long. Again, option for that interlace of the hands as you shine your sternum and gaze high. Make sure you don't pop up. You want to stay in that deep lunge. If it feels wobbly, hands can come to floor. It's all good. <sighs> I love stretching it out after that deep thigh work, don't you? So as you push back, flex your right heel and pull your right hip back. Hands can start on the thigh as you flatten and incline the spine. Maybe hands come to floor. And if you did it the first side, the good news is you get to do the split on the second side. Whew. And it's not just a party trick. We can actually start to improve our hip mobility little by little. So even if you're not in that full split today, it's okay. Take a sip of water if that's what you need and check out the setup for our pretzel. So everybody's favorite. We're gonna bring the left shin bone forward in line with the front of your mat. Your right knee is in line with your hip. So just send your arm out like a signal and check that's the case. Then pull your toes and heel in towards your hip. Now, some of you, if you're just starting out, will need to come down onto the right forearm, sorry, left forearm, and the other hand can be in front of you or on your hip. If you're with me, you're up here on your fingertips. Everybody push into that right big toe, dial the knee up and down. So we're lifting the right knee only at the moment. I'll dial around and show you. So I'm pushing up and down. And all the while, right hip is rocking forward. Five more. Now start to lift the abs, square the shoulders, lift your gaze, hold it. Can you lift the whole shape up? That might be the moment where you decide, actually I need to be on my forearm today. That's all good if that's the case for you. Let's take it on the beat. Little up hold, little up hold. Now as you take that hold, maybe take your gaze round. Is your heel squeezing as hard as is possible today towards your glute? And is your knee creeping forward or could you push it back in line with your hip again? Lift, hold. Staccato lift hold. And yes, your side glute, your side of your waistline, that is where our focus is. It is the most amazing exercise, the pretzel, for shaping and toning the back of the glutes and hip. Four more slices. Up hold. That's three. On the beat in two, we have a combo, and it looks like this. So it goes one up, one wrap. On the beat, it's up, it's wrap. Now again, could you lift your abs? Often we're just hanging out with those our core muscles. We're gonna work our abs throughout our class, not just when we get to abs. That way you walk out of the room with beautiful posture. Good, now square the shoulders. Good, four more here, it's four. Oh, it's a short set, I promise, three, because it's cooking already, right? Two more. Now on the last one, just make it a wrap and a wrap. Some of you will now be able to lift the right arm up and take your gaze around. Can you see your right toe? Good. We've got 10, eight, six, four, three. Now hold it. Send your leg three quarters and bend it in. If you bring your arm down or you need to bring your arm down, you do. Send it three quarters. Woo! Send it three quarters and hold. Tap the floor. Up, up, up. Like the mat is burning hot. I know, we're out, side lying in eight, seven, six, it's burning, five, four, three, two. Come and lay onto your side arm if you're not there already. Everybody, bend the left foot in, send your leg out. Flex your foot and give me the longest leg you can. It looks like this. We tap, we lift, we paintbrush forward. We tap, we lift, 
we paintbrush forward. Now for that paintbrush, you may need to bend the knee a little. That is okay. Could you all just check? Left elbow is underneath left shoulder. Side body is actively lifting away from your mat. Tap, lift hip height, swing it forward like you're brushing it on a glass table. How's that glute doing? Four more. Woo! It's a killer today, right? Three. I'm kind of regretting it myself, but here we are. We're in it now. Two more. Oh my goodness. Last one is going to stay forward at that 90 degrees. Just little tap, lift, little tap, lift. I know. There are only two more moves in this whole set, and I know you can do it. We've got eight. We're going to try and rise the hips and the legs in four, in three, in two. Hip rises off. It goes up for two and down. Now I've moved my angle. You can just stay where you are. If the hip lift is too much, just rise the leg as high as you can go and bring it down. Everybody takes arm and gaze high. That is all possible. If you need more support though, the hand can stay on the floor. You've got three more. Oh, I'm feeling that glute. Underneath glute as well, right? Uh-huh. It's a full body exercise. Hold it. Let's take those pulses, team. It's up. It's up. Let's reach for our goals. Taking that leg higher and higher, flexing longer and longer. Yes, it's 10. Maybe punch a fist to the sky for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Swing the legs around. Either fists if your wrists are sensitive or flat hands with fingertips towards glutes. Feet, hip socket width apart. You're going to lift your seat off. We press it up and up, down and hover. Pulse at four, pulse at three, pulse at two, pulse at one. It's push and push, tabletop, lower down to a hover. Elbow bend, two, three, those tricep dips. I snuck them in just to change it up for a minute. Pulse, two, three. It also opens up the body. So let's open the chest and gaze, lower down with control. Pulse four, three, last set. Here we go. Strong arms, strong glutes, strong lift through the core. Lower down, pulse four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, bring the right foot over the left thigh. Take a moment in your figure four stretch, just nice and seated. Take a sip of water if you need it, and let's remind ourselves of that setup for the pretzel. Because what is key is to get your setup right, then you will get the results. So, right shin bone is in line with the front of the mat. Left knee is in line with hip. Roll the left hip forward either fingertips forward and slightly off to the right, or maybe you're on your forearm today, match first side and second. Press into your big toe, make sure that heel is close, and let's dial that knee. Little up, little down. So again, a reminder, at the moment, the only thing that's lifting off is that knee, and you're finding your side too. If you want to put your finger there, mind to body connection. Yes, four more. Then we lift the whole shape in three. Exhale, two, lift your abs. Now hold it. Lift the whole shape, little up, hold. This is where you might decide you need that right forearm down, and that is okay. If you did so the first side, match it on your second. If you find this side is harder for some reason, make that adjustment. It's all good, good job. Up, hold, up, hold. Squeezing heel tightly, make sure that knee isn't creeping forward. Tight through your core, lift the chest, maybe a smile. It's possible. It raises your heart rate, raises your endorphin, rather. Good, now we take a one lift, one wrap. One lift, one wrap. Can you take that on the beat? It's up, it's wrap. Now that wrapping is the magic. That's where we get that little tush. Lifting, up, wrap. Lifting the waistline, good. Let's take it eight more here. It's eight, wrap, seven. Oh my goodness, it is burning. Just four more here, we've got this. Four, then we'd hold those wraps. Three, so strong, team. Two, you can do this. Now maybe that left arm reaches overhead and I'm trying to see my toe. Woo. And it's as though my leg is shining along that glass wall. Eight more, seven, then three mini extensions. Six, five, four, three, two. Now on one, hold the knee still. Just lower leg a little away from you. Bring it back home. Trying to keep the whole leg hovering off the floor is your goal. This time we hold the three quarter length position. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Eight, seven, I know it's killer. Six, five, four, three, you're on your forearm on one. So come onto the forearm, bend your underneath leg, push 
that left leg away from you. Remember your combo. We tap, we lift, we paintbrush, return. Tap, lift, paintbrush. Now the goal with the paintbrush is that the foot stays in line with the hip, but you can bend the knee if your hamstring is tight. Every time you extend forward, see if you can get that one inch longer, even a millimeter. Ah. Hips are stacked, underneath elbow below your shoulder, side body lifted. We've already activated it, so we know how to do that. Aha, uh -huh. four more here, it's four. Paintbrush, I'm gonna move my angle, because in a moment, we know we've got, we've got coming two. Last one, keep it forward, tap, lift, keep it forward. Now it's a tiny lift and lower. It's tap, lift, tap, lift. This is the killer. I know, it's sizzling, but that is why you press play. <laughs> Go eight, full range in six. So we're lifting the underneath hip in four, in three, option for that left arm as well to rise. It goes up and up, and down and down. It's reach and reach. So the heel is lengthening up on that high diagonal. Gaze and arm is following as well. Four. If you don't want to lift that underneath hip, you don't do it today. Maybe next time when you come back to this workout, you'll find you can do just a few. And so on, until we get so strong and lean. Now make a fist and let's take that little lift punch, lift punch. Yes, team, it out in eight, seven, six. Yes, go for it. Four, three, two, and one. You'll be pleased to know I'm not gonna put in those tricep dips this side. Let's just take a quick and well-deserved stretch for our glute. So left foot is now over right thigh. I'm liking to walk my hands in and then take a little rock. Whew. Take a breath, take a pause, take a sip of water, wipe off this glow if you need to. So our final section of class as always is those abs. We've already worked them a lot. So I want you to work with all the sensations that you've built up. Let's go ahead and find a flat back spine. I can bring the hand long and just make sure that your spine is elongated. There's a natural curve at your waistline. Do not eradicate it so we're not tucked we are neutral. From that place, we draw the legs up to tabletop, bring the knees apart and flex your feet. Make a little V shape. We press out and in. Micro press in and out. I want you to bring one hand to your low abs. Close your eyes, breathe and focus in on the sensation of pelvic floor lift, low abs zip, abs scooping in and underneath. At no point are we gonna let them pooch out. Agreed? Good. Four more. Three more. Two. Now hold it there. We go out three quarter length, squeeze it in. The more you press your heels together, the more sensation you will get in your glutes, your pelvic floor, and those low abs. So it's a scooping, like you're sucking up through a straw. Uh-huh. Good, four more. In and in. The knees do not come further in than in line with your hips. Two, I'm really pressing my heels together. See what that does for you. Hold it three quarter length, tiny presses. Out, out, out. They are micro, but you should be really starting to feel the side body as well, yeah. Five, four, I'm gonna take my hat off, how about you? In three, two, one. So curl up, put on an imaginary top hat. We're gonna shoot that hat off our heads as we reach and then put it right back on. So you're curled up off the tips of the shoulder blades. Heels are pushing away in that froggy position. Arms are reaching high diagonal. Now if you need to support the head instead, no worries. Let's go four more. I'm aiming for 45 with the legs, but if you're working with any other injuries or low back issues, go a little higher, two more and don't fully extend. Now find your biggest extension, hold your hat off your head. Micro bend and stretch, bend stretch. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pull it in. Take a momentary hug of the knees, rock your head right to left. We're gonna do that one more time. Now that we know what we're doing, let's be even more refined. So put on your hat, press your heels together, reach them away, put them back on. Good, all the way long, all the way in. I'm aiming to squeeze the thighs together as the legs extend. Heels, breath, good. Last one, we're gonna hold it out there. Find your longest position, little press. Press, it's 10, 
Nine, yes team, eight, seven, gorgeous scoop of those abs. Breathe it, four, three, two, one, and you're done. Hug your knees, good. Come all the way up, beautiful. Now we're gonna come onto the toes on our high curl, and then you can option bring the feet apart. A little more challenging together, see what you can do. Curl all the way back, find your deepest point, that should be shoulders in line with knees. Hollow your abs and reach the hands back to the shoulders where they were for your hinge. We reach it out, we exhale in. We reach it out, we exhale in. Now who knew this was so hard? We don't even have hand weights. Squeeze the biceps, four more. I know, good, three. Can you squeeze your knees together if your feet are together? It's two. Uh-huh. Now reach it all the way up, and then you're gonna slice this right arm. It slices all the way round, all the way up. Option for the right leg to extend, and slice it home. All the way round, all the way back. Four. Good, so I'm sweeping the arm and gaze, three. Nothing else is moving, just upper torso. Scoop it, two. Uh-huh. Last one. Hold it there, little reaches. Eight, seven, twisting, six, five, team, it's four. Yes, three, it's two, back to center. It's up and up, it's down and down. So we're aiming now to go a little more dynamically into that lower back curve, but try not to lose that core connection as you scoop up and roll back. Good, two more. Reach back, last one. Find your deepest point, hold it there. Left arm reaches, come on back. Maybe add the leg extension, that's just an option. Hollow and twist. Gaze follows left hand as you rotate. Reach the right arm as well in opposition. Oh, so many actions of those abs. So much length, gorgeous. Last three. Thighs working too, huh? Last two. Uh huh. Now last one, hold it. Maybe leg is extended, maybe it's not. It's that little twist. It's micro, but it's massive in those abs, yes? Go eight, seven, six, and five. Gorgeous, four, three, two, and on one. Everybody, roll it back. Options are hands by your side or wrapping around the glutes. Three quarter length legs or full extension. Reverse curl up, down, up. Down. So again, we're back in those low abs. I've got a little challenge for you. So options are to stay here, focusing on this mini reverse curl. If you have never done a jackknife before, but you'd like to have a go, take a look at one rep and join me. So it goes like this. We push overhead, we come to our shoulder stand, we come back to the angle, we roll through the spine and lengthen the legs away. You don't have to do it on the beat. This is a little added challenge, definitely an advanced move. Do not do it if you're coming back from any surgery or babies. Just stay with those reverse curls or take a break if you need it. Two more. Nice. Last time. Make it your best. And everybody, take those knees to your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Let's finish up on our front. So I love finishing the some back extensor work. Again, it's all that back musculature that we don't really use enough in our daily lives. So let's find it now. Legs can be hip socket width apart. We're just gonna lift the arms and head and lower down. Scooping the belly is so important because it's going to keep your lower back safe. So as you push the feet into the floor, lengthen head and hands off the floor and lengthen back down. Can you all shrug the shoulders down your back? And lower. Let's do three more here. Three, and lower. Two, so if your lower back is sensitive, it could be one inch off the floor, that's all good. Last one, take a little wiggle of your hips. Okay, so we're gonna add a little side reach. It's as though you were on that glass table again, but this time with your head and elbows. So set the feet into the floor, hollow the abdominals, slightly tuck your pelvis. Lift your head and hands off the floor. Now reach around to the right. Come center, left, come center. Now the shoulders are still down the back. You are working kind of from your side body. So think 
the tissimus dorsi, these little muscles, big muscles, they're like a little banana. <laughs> Bunch of bananas running around to the ribs. That's how I think of it anyway. You've got two more. Come centre, hips stay even in the mat as you take the twist. It's harder than it looks, right? Give it a little wiggle. So if you want more and you're ready, reach the arms forward. Press your head just off the floor, lift legs off, lift arms off. Start to flutter, arms and legs. We're going swimming, but swimming with a difference. Are you guys ready? You're gonna to start to reach that right arm behind you. Keep swimming the legs. Reach, 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 reach. Reach, 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 reach forward. Left arm reaches, come on forward. Right arm reaches, come on forward, good. Left arm reaches, can I have busy legs please? Shark attack is imminent, uh-huh. Nice, are your abs tight? You've got two more sets. We've got this right, centre, left for your finale move. Come on down, take a wiggle. Options are, you could just take an interlace of the hands, that's your locust. If you want to take a full little wheel, press hands into feet, feet into hands, press the chest up, press the legs up. A couple of advanced moves today that you shouldn't be scared of. They're there to build towards. So if that's not for you today, it's okay. If it is for you today, see how lifted and lengthened and open you can become. We've got five counts here, five breaths. Five, four, three, two, and everybody rest the knees down. Bend your knees if they're not bent already. Just window wipe the feet, right to left, left to right. That should feel really nice on the lower back. Beautiful. Guys, you've made it. Press yourself gently up and back. Find your child pose, knees as wide as your mat, palms just pressing forward, head resting into the mat. You've made it through a lot of technical challenges. You're gonna really be feeling the side body now, so just take a little stretch, ease yourself back. Sit bones melting towards the heels, good. Breath in, breath out, and then let's walk the hands over to the left, taking a little side reach, enjoying that sense of length and space between those ribs. When you're ready, in your own time, padding over to the other side, so feeling the stretch. Good. And then as you come to centre, pad the hands up, pressing hands behind you, lift the hips, open the chest. If your neck feels okay, you could let that head rest all the way back. If it's not good for your neck, don't push it. But the more you tuck, the more beautiful stretch you get down the front of the thighs, which is what we need, right? We work them hard. So, coming up gently. Let's send the right leg out to the side. Draw the left heel into the groin. Catching a hold of the calf, ankle or foot. Take a side sweep of the left arm and body. Breathing into the armpit, taking gaze to the sky. And then we rotate, and this feels so good after that pretzel. Catching hold of the thigh, calf, wherever you are. Just folding the nose now towards the knee so it's a twisted upper torso. Hip bones, sit bones rather, even into the mat. Breathe into that side body again and into that tight hip area. As I said, the pretzel is amazing for giving tone, but it's a lot. So let's give it a chance to release. Right heel is in, left leg is out on that diagonal, taking a sweep of the right arm, opening chest and gaze high, armpit to the sky, and then rotate. And you can sometimes feel a big difference, as you probably just heard, in your right and left side. So if, like me, you have any kind of spinal curve, or simply that you sit a lot at a desk. These stretches are so good for us. We'll finish up with a nice butterfly stretch. So drawing the soles of the feet together, wrapping the fingers under the toes is my preference, but see what feels good for you. You could take a couple of little butterfly flaps of the wings and then press the knees open, open your chest. Take a little moment here just to feel the collarbones widening, dipping the head down and rolling it to the right. Dipping it down and rolling it to the left. Beautiful. That music denotes that we have finished our time together. I want to thank you again for taking time to roll out the mat, to move your body mindfully, to build all this wonderful energy and knowledge. Today we did some great technical things and you should be really proud of your efforts. I can't wait to welcome you back on the mat here at Silver Linings. Meanwhile, have a fantastic day.